Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to our new episode. Today we are in Kongan Sneto and uh, we are here to cover up the uh, Copenhagen Light Festival 2022. Yes, every year in the month of uh, February where the winter fades and the summer comes up. So here in Copenhagen they will have uh, this light festival right for three weeks and uh, this is the last week so I just don't want to miss this and uh, yeah here I am and let's go and see what's in there for Copenhagen Light Festival 2022. First light thing, and this is in the South Bank, S Y South Bank, yes. This is opposite to our Kongan Sido metro station, and this is a 3D mapping piece. It's termed as breath, breathless new life into the South Banking. Bank building on Congan City. People often say that a metropolis has a life force and a pulse of its own. The pulse is rhythmic and aggressive while breathing is circular and without. Yeah. And you can see the 3D effect on this particular building you can see that right the 3d cubes yeah yes you can see the 3d effect in the building We are going to the second one, the borders. You can see the green and the orange ones, right? This is named as borders. Borders is a light sculpture based on barriers as territorial limits and obstacles. Fences and barriers are usually tools that separate, divide and create enclosed spaces. But borders remove the fence from its normal function and places it as a shining standalone object in the middle of an urban space. You can see these borders are placed exactly opposite to magazine. I think this is the Danish theater. It's lovely. Let's get inside and see how it is. It's so awesome. That information is present in this particular app, Copenhagen Light Festival app. If you want to know any of the information regarding this, you can just download as I did and then all the information regarding the uh, events and all the information regarding the lights, everything will be there in the app. Yeah, so we are going to take the 5 kilometer route as I am showing. Let's go to the Nyhaven. To the Nyhaven, we'll be going to the other ones. And the next one is an interesting one, right? The one you can see like a sun. Yes. 
is uh, it is called as a dozen sun this is uh, comprised of 5000 plastic pieces which is cleaned and cut into pieces and it's from eight different countries right they drill the holes into the material and mounted it on a chicken wire the result of all the hard work is a spherical life the result of this hard work is a spherical light sculpture and dozen sun standing 3.6 meters tall you can see that it's totally plastic so they collected everything and then they are broken into 5000 pieces Isn't it nice? You can hear the sound of the wind gushing. It doesn't sound. Awesome. This is called the heat. The heat. It's nice. The light piece heat expresses a feeling of warmth in the chilly winter time and catches the eye of the observer from a great distance. Heat has a special allure, but can it become too hot? Wow. I guess it is I R L U. I don't know what does that mean. So this I L L U consists of two parts that you need to experience as one of the one collective whole. Each part is a 3D illusion. You can see that, right? It's a 3D illusion. So let's go to the next one. Next one is the wind chimes. You can see it's hanging. Wind chimes. It's changing the colors. And two of them is not working. <laughs> That's fine. And this is the famous one, the five trampolines. So this has been here for every year and the kids love this trample it and let's try sample it Ooh. trample it there's a mild music you can hear <laughs>
So this box tells a visual story about how nature would bloom and make the world more beautiful if only humanity gave it the necessary space and tranquility. You can see that I think we we'll go over here and see the beauty of it. Its goal is to awaken an emotional response within the observer that could turn thought into action, highlighting the need for us to make a bigger effort for nature's sake. Trust in nature. So that's what it's written for this. There you go. Trust in nature. Trust nature. Wonderful. This is by Image Hackstage. Image U M A G E. Okay, let's go to the next one. Lovely. And you can see the bridge, and that is also a point. You can see the light focused towards the sky. It's beautiful. And I think these are the great balls. So the great balls is suspended in the ball cage at the heaven gale and it consists of picks pipes with LED strips inside formed as balls of different sizes. Yeah. These are the big pipes. Interesting isn't it? Wow. This is it's interesting, and I think this one is called Comps. We humans are surrounded by signals constantly streaming past us and through our bodies. The work Comps illustrates the invisible stream of signals using mechanical. Satellite dishes which make us aware that we are subjected to a constant barrage of radiation on a daily basis. Let's go the other way. All the neon signs, which are famously present in Copenhagen. You can see 
can see the uh, Copenhagen Center and the zoo neon signs. So this is the Uncharvasanti. I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it right. It's between Tamil and on a string. It feels creepy. <laughs> This is the phoenix. Phoenix is a piece of piece in the shape of the giant bird. In an interplay between light and sound, this work transforms itself into several different animal species on the brink of extinction. Go to the next one. This one is a neutrino, large-scale light installation that deals with the subatomic world in the poetic manner, a level of order that we cannot fully comprehend.
can see the raindrops goes up to the sky and the neutrino is here this is the photonic empathy Photonic Empathy is a touch-sensitive interactive uh, art piece that invites the audience to influence the visual feel, look, color and depth of the installation. So let's go near to it and then see what's that. This is the Cosmo Hangs. Cosmo Hangs as a planetary system that fills the old colonnade of the National Museum in the Storm Gale with rays of light and dynamic shadows. Isn't it? This is called the Oracle. The Oracle is a visitor engaging light work. Semi transparent white walls form a spiral construction that you can walk into. Inside the Oracle, you gradually disappear away from the city pulse. The walls get higher and higher, and the light intensifies the closer you get to the center. Let's get inside. Here you can see the wonderful, the iconic one for the light festival. The green beam The weather is getting worse, it's snowing and rainy and uh, this will be our last one I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope it is a bit informative and uh,
So this is a wonderful one. You can see the green beam goes. and uh, there are plenty of other places also there are plenty of other light installations also but the weather is not that good so I am signing off here I hope this video is a bit informative and interesting one to you if so please like it and do share your comments ok I will see you in the next one and until then Bye from me.